Good evening. I uh, sent this uh, letter to my client 13 years ago. That's, I think, 2004. He is a seaman, a seafarer, and uh, meron siyang tatlong anak. But at that time, dalawa pa lang yung anak niya. <clears throat> and the wife has uh, was talking to me. I was talking to the wife. And uh, she was encouraged na talagang kailangan nilang paghandaan yung, yung education ng mga anak nila. So, dahil nasa barko siya, I had to write this letter uh, and uh, uh, explain this in the uh, simplest uh, way I can para mas madali niya maintindihan and uh, maniwala siya. So, the letter goes like this. I mean, goes this way. Just to give you an idea, when I enrolled as a college student in UST, it was only 3,000 per semester. Before we took our prelims, without any consultation, they increased the tuition fee at a rate of 100%. And so, I paid more than 6,000 pesos for my tuition fee and other fees. A lot of schools have uh, protested, but the tuition fees did not roll back. Instead, a limit to the rate of increase was set. Since then, the private schools were allowed to increase their fees to a maximum of 15%. The year was uh, 1989. It was almost 13 years ago. In school year 2002, second semester, I enrolled, I enrolled my remaining subjects in the same school and took 21 units consisting of 7 subjects. For that, I paid more than 20,000. I still have my registration cards with me. And I uh, attached the, a photocopy of my registration form. Last semester, I enrolled for my last subject, which is the stasis part. I was only taking a subject, yet I paid 13000 How much more if I was taking a regular load of 20 units? So, I showed some illustration, uh, the, which... Uh, <clears throat> Which shows that uh, in 1989, during the first seventh, uh, semester, I took 21 units at uh, 3,000 to 6,000. In 2002 to 2003, second semester, I took 17 units. It's 18,733.60. In 2003 to 2004, first semester, thesis only, I paid 9,900. For a regular fifth-year student having thesis, 21 units, 20,000 plus. With the attached tuition fees projected from 1989, when I first enrolled in college up to this year, when I am continuing my thesis, the figures will prove that UST has been increasing its tuition fees at a maximum rate of 15%. RJ is two years old now. We said mean, at that time, I wrote this letter. The <clears throat> youngest son, uh, RJ, was only two years old. The prevailing tuition fees in universities and colleges range from 19,965 based on a 10% rate and 22,813.13 based on a 15% rate. Okay? That's per semester. If it's going to college this year and will take a, a four or five year course, so that's 19,000 times two semesters, that's 40,000, almost 40,000 per year. 39,000 or 40,000 per year times four years would equate to 159,720 for four years. Uh, let's say um, he'll take up a, a five-year course. So that's 39,930 times 5 years in college would equate to 199,650 or more or less 200,000 for 5 years. But, as I said, 14 years from now, I mean 14 years from 2004, that's 2018. That will probably next year. When RJ goes to college, the tuition fees will be approximately as follows. So, at the 15th percent rate, 
from 2003 to 2018, 182,505 to 1.4 million or 1,485,054 and 43 to be exact. If he's going to take a 5-year course from 228,121.25, it will be around 1.8 million 56,000. At a 10% rate, from 2003 to 2018, a four-year course, which is a, which would cost us a day or that time, <clears throat> 2,459,720,000, it would amount to 667,190 pesos next year. For a five-year course of 199,650 in 2003 by 2018 or by next year it would amount to 833,987 take note we have computed only the tuition and other fees the projection did not include the book allowance transportation laboratories board and lodging and food um, college plans are tailored based on the following age of the child below 11 years old cost of college fund is 100 to 2 million mode of payment is uh, quarterly semi-annual and annual mode i prepared a proposal which will provide a million educational cash fund when rj goes to college to cover his tuition fees <clears throat> the cash fund will be a check instead issued in a lump sum or installments as the applicant wishes therefore if during his college years you are still able to support his expenses this fund may be used to augment his educational needs or you may opt to spend it in any way you want like starting a business or go on a dream vacation yeah. so instead of getting a separate plan for both kids our uh, JV the eldest son and RJ get a plan na lang for RJ na mas na malaki kasi mas mababa ang rate kung younger <coughs> it will be good if he will be able to get a plan that will be close to what the child really needs nevertheless it is good if we will get a plan based on what we can afford to allocate or set aside in our budget in this connection I prepared a plan close to the premium na binabayaran ng kasama mo, which is 30,000. The equivalent plan in plan value is uh, 350,000 college provider. <coughs> Our plan is the lowest in premium available in the market, backed up by Insular Life's more than 100 years of unbroken service in the industry. The company is mutualized, meaning the policyholders are part owners and only stockholders of the company. Hence, all policyholders are entitled to dividends, dividends, which can be used or be left in the company to earn interest or accumulate interest higher than the rates prevailing in the banks. <clears throat> other companies have uh, demutualized and have stockholders other than policyholders, kaya mas marami nagahati sa income ng company. At Insular Life, solo ng policyholders. At age 23, the dividend benefits would accumulate approximately 61,911. This, the child and the applicant owner will get at, uh, on top of the cash fund that the company will provide. Based on uh, comparative analysis, the mga college provider na insular life when it comes to benefits and premium costs. At your service po, ingat lagi and God bless.